The trial unfolding in Cedar Ridge has become the culmination of decisions made by one person, Mackenzie Sherilla. These decisions have forever altered the futures of three families, including yours. The gravity of the choices made by Mackenzie has sent shockwaves through the community, prompting a somber reflection on the far-reaching consequences of our actions. In criminal cases like this, the state bears the burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt as the evidence was presented. One specific exhibit, labelled 802, stood out, a crash video. This visual record, once witnessed, becomes an indelible part of one's memory. The chilling and tragic scenes depicted in the video leave an indelible mark, serving as a stark reminder of the consequences of a single decision. The narrative painted in the courtroom revolves around Mackenzie's decision to take a route she had visited a few days prior, a decision that forever changed the lives of Dominic, Davian and Fabian. Mackenzie, seemingly a responsible driver, morphed into a force of destruction, choosing a path of death that led to an irreversible tragedy. The video, exhibits 802, crystallizes the deadly decision-making process as Mackenzie accelerates her vehicle to a horrifying speed of 90 to 100 miles per hour. Mackenzie's decisions were purposeful and intentional. She navigated her car down an obscure route, consciously avoiding witnesses who might offer life-saving assistance. The mission seemed clear, death and destruction. Mackenzie's actions were methodical, deliberate, uncontrolled. It was not reckless driving. It was murder. The prosecution argues that Mackenzie's purpose that fateful morning was to kill Dominic Caruso and Davian Flask. The evidence, as presented in counts 124, details the intentional and purposeful nature of her actions. The court, after due consideration, has found Mackenzie Sharilla guilty of murder in all counts pertaining to Dominic and Davian. Counts 5 to 10 further outline the felonious assaults and aggravated vehicular homicides committed by Mackenzie, the court, in its findings. Highlights the gravity of her actions, each decision leading to a cascade of tragic consequences. As the verdicts were delivered, Mackenzie's fate was sealed. She stands guilty of murder, felonious assault, aggravated vehicular homicide, drug possession, and possessing criminal tools. The sentencing will take place one week from today, offering a brief respite before the community comes to terms. With the aftermath of Mackenzie's decisions, the tragic tale of Mackenzie Sharila serves as a stark reminder that our actions, whether good or bad, have lasting consequences that extend far beyond the moment of choice. In the wake of this trial, a poignant lesson emerges Every decision we make holds significance, with the potential to ripple through time and affect the lives of many.